That's her motivation. to create robots and everything that will help people. Well, that's sweet. But she has awful social skills. Even I though she, com she completed college mm. before she was like, she was like 13 when she completed college. <laughs> Jeez. She must be crazy smart then. <laughs> yeah. Um, although I'd, I have noticed that the smarter someone is, the more awkward they tend to be for speaking or socializing. Because they struggle to comprehend someone being able to keep with their pace. If someone doesn't keep up with their pace, then they don't know how to handle it. Understandable. How is it going in there for those two? Well, sometimes it gets a little rough. Anthony tries his hardest to explain that things will be okay with him being with y'all. That he's. He isn't with us all the time, he comes to visit you regularly. Yeah. Definitely. He just hangs out with us all the time because we're like a second family to him. And I don't blame him. Not at all. I probably would be doing the same thing if I was put in his position. Entirely not an issue. Is if you were just living with us instead. You wouldn't yeah, have to go back and forth. That's come to mind. Before. And do it help your husband understand us because he'd be living with us. Despite how off he to the ID be probably at first, he might turn it it around. Oh he wasn't really happy about it when I brought it up. We've already had plenty of people move in with us before. Something new. Anyone's welcome to, if they want to. It's more than can be said for most. We're entirely welcoming of new people moving in. Well, that's sweet.
Hmm. Cause I I don't really see a problem in it personally. And when it comes to Harvey, Harvey just always says that he wants to make sure that Anthony doesn't get hurt and that he's safe. The best way to do that would be with would be to move in with us so we could keep an eye on him at all times. Wouldn't it? The best way to keep someone safe is to never leave their side. And no. he's worried no. about his own child getting hurt, yet he's not going there and checking up on him. You see the disconnect there? Mm hmm. You can't really fix a problem if you're not trying to fix it. On top of that, there's been multiple occasions where he's just appeared there and started freaking staring at sapphires for inexplicable reasons. I know she has dangerous energy, and that she's mentally unstable, but... Uh, my personality's not the same. She's not a danger to Anthony. Or anyone else she's around, unless she goes insane. And that's not often. Unless there's enemies nearby. People she doesn't like. And if Anthony hangs around her long enough, then even when she does snap, she won't attack him outright. She'll have built up enough trust that she'll be able to at least hold herself back from hurting him, even if she does lose control. Yeah. That makes sense. What doesn't help her schizophrenia is Harvey being there just watching her. She stated that before. Because schizophrenia is very untrusting of other people that are around you. It makes you not trust your own environment that you're in. It makes you panic about everything. Feel unsafe in the safest place. Having someone staring at you... Doesn't help with that. On top of the fact that he participated in kidnapping her. Yeah, that that one really hurt. That made it feel that made her feel even worse. That one hurt me when I figured that out. I didn't think he would go that far. <laughs> At least she cleared his name a bit when she said his intent wasn't to harm her. She literally covered for him after he fucking kidnapped her. That just shows how much she cares about people. I don't see how you could be rude to someone like that. I... I don't either. But there your husband is doing it. It's appalling. Mm. I 
can understand the paranoia surrounding our core energy, but you don't need to go that far. He's taking it way too far. I did come here to get the salt, didn't I? Where's he at? He should be coming out soon. Well, he'd better, or I'm going in there. <laughs> that offer. Of us living with you guys to clear that worry. I'm willing to take it. It's nice to hear. People like you are entirely, entirely welcome to visit whenever. We even allow random strangers in the castle all the time. The only issue is when they start getting uppity and start causing issues. Understandable. We're totally open to getting criticized by the people that live under our rule. But what I will not stand for is people trying to take over stuff that we've have especially since we really don't really don't have influence over those areas we kind of just let them do what they want we kind of just let them live their own lives People not see that? It's mostly because they don't like the connotation that the original Empire had. The fear this one will become like that one any day. And it could, but that depends on what other people do, not us. If enough people mobilize against us, then of course. I reformed the Empire because people were just messing with us all the time. Factions got together and teamed up against our family. While we didn't have an Empire going. We were just trying to live peacefully. What more could they want? I got rid of the Empire. 
and they asked for it to come back. So I brought it back. Well, I got rid of them because they asked me to. And I recreated because they forced me to. It's 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 really rough. It was painful those two hundred and seventy odd years that we didn't have the Empire going. Because we were just trying to live peacefully, raise our own children, let them do their own things, and here comes someone that doesn't like us because of something I did. So why try messing with my family? Why don't you just pick a fight with me? Why do you have to go so low as to go after the rest of them? If you have the issue with me, just go after me. That's what I say. But no, we have to go after the children. We have to kidnap each and every one of them. We have to try using them against their own family. Those kind of people deserve to die. Only imagine how that feels. Hearing that one of your children get kidnapped. They get kidnapped on the daily. <laughs> they were getting kidnapped on the daily. Before the Empire came back. They brought it back so we'd have extra security. That's so awful. And all because they hate me specifically. It's... They go too far. That's really rough. I, I always thought that you guys had it pretty bad, but I never thought it'd be this bad. We literally had to defend ourselves every day. For over 200 years. After I tore down that empire from the inside, because I didn't like it. If you have something to criticize, do that, but don't just go after my family. It's not the way to go about it. It doesn't help anything. It's just bullying at that point. It really is. It's just not right. Stand when I when you I have see your husband doing it. Just the one thing he's doing is the one thing you guys just. The 
one thing you guys don't want. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm trying to solve this issue today. So it doesn't keep happening. At least have one less person to worry about. And I don't want to kill him. Not yet, anyway. Unless he forces my hand. That's gonna be pretty hard to watch if it does come to that. I pray it doesn't. I really pray it doesn't. And I am a very forgiving person, despite all the hell I've been through in my life. I've given far too many chances to people that didn't deserve it. And they kept backstabbing me. why I want to make sure today that he's not one of those. I don't want him to be stuck as another soul that's inside the blood scythe. It's a painful experience. I apologize for burdening you with all that information. No, oh, no. It's just, it's just those problems get on my nerves. It's alright. In fact, I think it was best for the both of us to talk about this. Helps you relieve thoughts that you have built up, and it helps me further understand how you guys were treated. We're still treated like that. Even with all the power we got back. Unfortunately, my husband is proof of that. We're treated like monsters still. When we tried being human. So what's the point? What's the point of hanging around people that are just gonna berate you and try killing you? There is no point. Unless you can get them to change their minds about it. Then they're just gonna keep trying to do it until you end up killing them.
That must be almost unbearable. Oh, we just don't worry. Especially with other vampire families doing the same things. Our own damn species are against us. <laughs> And aren't y'all basically protecting them too? Yes, we are. That makes that even worse. It's... Trying to save them from the trauma we go through. Getting targeted, mm. having children kidnapped having assassins come to try to kill you armies form against you for no reason other than they don't like you it's going to happen to the rest of them if we die they may not be strong enough to handle that exactly if anything you Defending the weak, and that's how you're getting repaid? Mm-hmm. Most likely it makes you feel like you just don't belong. Oh, trust me, I know that. It must make you feel so... ...depressed. It does. to help you guys with anything. Thank you for that. <laughs> 